Hey guys, welcome back to yet another fresh episode on wireless technology. So in today's video, we'll be seeing some of the few features which are there in the Mac layer. So uh, in this video, uh, I've considered six different features uh, which mainly are taken for Mac layer. So let's begin. So uh, we already saw the DSSS packet structure, FHSS packet structure, IR packet structure and also the MAT packet structure. So uh, like in uh, all the other uh, packet structures, we have the checksum or the CRC which is present before the payload at the very end. So the very first feature of MAC layer is the CRC checksum. So it mainly is present in each and every packet so that it ensures that there is no corruption during the data transmission or the fragment transmission. So it mainly is used to uh, error checking and error detecting purpose. So uh, this is the most important feature which is seen in the MAC layer. Next we have the packet fragmentation. So fragmentation in its basic terms is like dividing any large data into smaller bits so that it can be processed later. So similarly it splits the large packets into smaller subunits and later this smaller subunits takes lesser time to transmission. So uh, it's like uh, if you do this kind of activity or if packet fragmentation provision is there in the MAC layer then it reduces the chance of corruption and hence uh, it improves the overall wireless system network performance. Next we have the roaming provisions. So all the client devices which you have in the IEEE 802.11 WLAN uh, that is we have the routers, switches, bridges, uh, workstation, terminals and all can be put up uh, at different access points at multiple different access points at multiple different ranges so that it can be operated on either same or the different channels. So it doesn't need to be at one particular instinct of place to operate but then uh, it can be put over some other uh, distances or other places so that it can perform well. Next we have the uh, supporting for time bounded data. So it mainly provides the data transmission for voice as well as for uh, video data using the PCF. PCF here stands for point coordination function. So uh, let's see how in uh, Mac sub layer the PCF function works. So uh, basically uh, I have considered the scenario where I have put uh, some blanks here. So let's fill this. So in PCF mode, one access point controls the media access. So uh, for medium access, whether it uh, you want to do the video transfer or voice transfer, it's all con uh, controlled by the access point. Next, if uh, you enable the BSS, that is the basic service set and it's done after the PCF that is the point coordination function then what the time is sliced and it's uh, sliced between the systems which are in the PCF mode. Now when the system remains uh, in this PCF mode what basically happens is the access points which are there or which is allowed to roam in that particular area pulls each of the station for data means it asks uh, whether this station wants to do the data transfer or the, this station wants to do the data transfer so basically uh, does the polling activity and after a specific time the access point obviously moves to the next station now uh, not a single or not even a one single station is allowed to transmit the data unless it is being polled so here mainly the polling functionality comes into picture now here in order to ensure the maximum data is transmitted in a fixed fashion you need to have a certain amount of latency. So maximum latency is ensured in order to transmit the data in fixed fashion. Then you have the synchronization. So uh, Mac layer helps in finding the WLAN systems which are there around it and then it synchronizes their internal clock so that they can be uh, in a zinc fashion. And finally you have the power management feature so that is the very essential or the important feature in the MAC layer. So uh, it basically operates in two mode that is continuous aware mode. Now here what you have a radio subsystem uh, in the wireless systems. So uh, when the radio subsystem is on or whether it's kept uh, all the time on you call it as in continuous aware mode. So what happens here is it requires power at all the time. So 24 seven you require power in order to operate on this mode, uh, but that it's less power efficient. Uh, you don't get that much output in that 
uh, mode. So what you have an alternative is the power saving polling mode. So this is the most efficient one. And here the radio station or the radio system is dosed with the access point. So dosed here means uh, to slip it slightly for some time, for some milliseconds or some for some minutes. And then uh, it keeps a queue data. So whenever the queue gets full, uh, you just uh, pump out the data as it when required. So well, that was all regarding the features in the Mac layer. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found out education watching this video, please do like, share, comment. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.